pwytho o gyfres rhiannon. Wrth i ymylon y ffram ffreo rwy'n cofio, diwrnod o wyn am elyn, awyr ac air. Dwl, blodau adar y borfan bali gwyrdd, pwythodd rhyw law y ceffyl a minnau y llun, clywn y nod oedd yn gwani trwy ddau. Brodiodd y gyrlen ola yng nghynffon y march a'n gosod yno, mae'n gwe o edau ddisglair. Aeth canrif heibio, clywn garnau tu cefn ac yno gweiddodd, rhwygodd yr eiliad fel cleddyf yn llathru trwy sidan, llaciodd y pwythau, cerddais allan o'r darlun yn syth i lygad yr hael. Stitching from the Rhiannon sequence. What I remember are the tapestry edges starting to unravel like the evening sky. But first fields appeared and a stitch for every blade of grass. And there I was on horseback flowing from the artist's hand. I felt the sewing needle give shape to my soul, wild as a stallion's tail its shining warp. One hundred years passed. Now I hear horses, the hound's music, and time splits apart like a blade, slashing daylight through a girl's dress. But all the stitching cannot stop me. I step from the picture out into the blazing world. Mesimeria. O ilios edo de horatevi. Timomenos ilios. Παντοκράτορας, με τα σμιχτά του φρύδια, το τετράγωνο σαγόνι, με το δασί του κόρφο γδιτών ως τη θάλασσα. Ένας μήνας, δύο μήνες, πολλοί μήνες. Τους μετρήσαμε κουβαλώντας τον νόμο την πέτρα και το φόβο, χτυπώντας διπλωμένο το δάχτυλο στη ράχη της τάμνας, να ακούσουμε τον ήχο του νερού, όπως ακούμε πίσω από την πόρα τη φωνή της γυναίκας, όπως ακούει η γυναίκα τη φωνή και του μικρότερου άστρου, όπως ακούει τ' άστρο το βέλασμα του δειλινού. Τα μεσημέρια είναι πολύ μεγάλα, όσο μια Κυριακή στην εξοχή δίχως παιδιά. Από το πρωί ως το βράδυ κρατάει το μεσημέρι. Αν διψούσαμε λιγότερο, δεν θα το σκεφτόμαστε. Αν υπάρχει ένα δέντρο σε μια πλαγιά ή στην κορφή του νησιού, αν υπάρχει μια φούχτα σκιά, λιγότερη πίκρα, λιγότερη αδικία. Δεν θυμόμαστε το σχήμα του δέντρου. Να είναι τάχα σαν μια μεγάλη σημαία από νερό. Να είναι σαν ένα ευχαριστώ που κάποτε σου είπαν. Να είναι σαν ένα αγαπημένο χέρι που βρίσκει το χέρι σου. Μεθαύριο θα φυτέψουμε χιλιάδες δέντρα. Νουν. Here the sun doesn't fall around. The furious sun, raining over us, with his scowling eyebrows and set jaw, with his hairy chest, bare down to the sea. One month. Two months. Then many more. We measure them by holding both stones and fears on our shoulders, by tapping a hooked finger along the side of the clay pitcher to hear the sound of water, just as we listen for the voice of our wife behind a door, just as our wife listens for the voices of even the smallest of stars just as the stars listen for the bleating of flocks at dusk. These noons last forever, like a Sunday in the country with our children. These noons start at sunup and last until sundown. If only we were less thirsty, it wouldn't occupy our minds. If only there was one tree on the hillside or at the top of the island, if only there was a handful of shade and less bitterness and less injustice. We've forgotten the shape of a tree. Is it perhaps like a large banner of water? 
or like a thank you that someone said to you in the past, or like a lover's hand searching for your hand in the future will plant thousands of trees. There is Bagis Capes Opetians. Sheni Ori, Zingashverli Helit, Mogwit Ane Zaphulis Grilli Melodiebi, Surnelebi, Capios Manebi. Sheni Ori, Zingashverli Helit, Dagwapure, Dagwam Schwede. Sheni Ori, Zingashverli Helit, Gwithari Lamazi, Da Amaua Gualaperi. Sheni Ori, Zingashverli Heli, Martalia. Da modraops mit is ert patara monakvetze, kamiz nebulat da sevdianat. Sheni ori zingashverli heli tolobis nishania, sisots chlesa da siktils shoris dasmoli. Taktchov. Sheni ori zingashverli heli aishvire zemot. Takvachvene. Vinaris ik, vin sam ola pers martla gvigzaunis. Veris bagis kapes orad gilian magidastan. Me da chems mego bars, dres, atas tras otchmos darvats lis, otzdat ivlis, saramoti. To a very spark cafe waiter. With your two hands stretched out, you brought us the cool melodies of summer, delicious smells, distinct visions. With your two hands stretched out, you fed us and calmed us down. With your two hands stretched out, you told us everything is beautiful and vain. Your two hands stretched out are truthful and move over this small plot of earth, sadly, but with purpose. Your two hands stretched out are the mark of equality between life and death. And I ask you to point your two stretched out hands upwards and to show us who is there, the one, the real send of all this to me and my friend at the two-seat table in the Very Spark Cafe today, July 30th, evening, 1998. Ameni 決して行かず、いつも静かに笑っている。一日に玄米四合と味噌と少しの野菜を食べ、あらゆることを自分を感情に入れずによく見聞きし、分かり、そして忘れず。野原の松の林の影の。小さな茅葺きの小屋にいて東に病気の子供あれば行って看病してやり西に疲れた母あれば行ってその稲の束を背負い南に死にそうな人あれば行って怖がらなくてもよいという北に喧嘩や訴訟があれば詰まらないからや
he eat four go of unpolished rice, miso, and a few vegetables a day. He does not consider himself in whatever occurs. His understanding comes from observation and experience, and he never loses sight of the things. He lives in a little such the roof hut, in a field in the shadow of pine tree grove. If there is a sick child in the east, he goes there to nurse the child. If there is a tired mother in the west, he goes to her and carries her shivers. If someone is near death in the south, he goes and says, "Don't be afraid." If there is Strife and lawsuit in the nose. He demands that people put an end of their pettiness. He weeps at the time of drought. He plods about at loss during the cold summer. Everybody calls him blockhead. No one sings his prizes or takes him to heart. That is the sort of a person I want to be 